shredding, swerving, and skateboarding at 60. It's just, it's just fun. Yes, Scott McDonald is 60 years old. I was kind of wondering that, you know, I talked to my family and kind of wonder if like the old folks home, if they have like a skating club or something, I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I might want to join one of those. <laughs> This Sacramento skater has now been rolling around on four wheels for 45 years. The so sprains and scrapes and bruises and all that kind of stuff, but uh, thank the Lord, haven't broken any bones at this point. He started when he was 15. Now he skates with his 15 year old. His son Matt says some of his dad's tricks are even too scary for him. Uh, I don't know, I can't invert. That's his, that's his trick. Where he flips upside down and goes back in. I can't do that. But are you working on it? I'm not, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping in and carving out father-son time while getting a great workout. That was awesome. He got me out here more. So if you're thinking about picking up skateboarding, maybe for the first time or picking it up again, Scott says make sure you've got wrist guards, elbow guards, knee pads, and obviously a helmet because he says it's not a matter of if you're gonna fall, but when. Because that's part of skateboarding. If you're gonna skate, put wheels under your feet, you're gonna fall. Just take it easy. I mean, don't try start trying crazy tricks right off the bat. Just roll around, carve around, kick turns. Even as a teen, Scott knew skating would be a lifelong sport for him. You know, I had a friend talk about uh, another pro skater that was in his early 20s and couldn't believe he was still skating. And I'm like, what? I'm going to be skating when I'm 60. So I fulfilled that prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. You're not really thinking about financial issues or family problems or any anything like that. But uh, skating, you know, after you've done it for a while, you can just cruise around and relax. And at the same time, it's intense. It's it's kind of a weird balance, but it, it's it's fun. Back up. In Sacramento, Lisa Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News. Scott says he hopes to still be skating in his 70s and 80s. And why, why not? Maybe we can do another story in 10 years. We'll <laughs> see. It.